This is Wamuzi TV, a place to be. Hello and welcome to Wamuzi TV, a place to be. Welcome to the talk show with the, the founder of Umoja Ninguvu Charity Foundation. Today he, he is the guest of honor who is other than Mr. John Marambu. Uh, welcome and uh, feel free to continue viewing to get more about uh, the foundation. So welcome Mr. Welcome to, the, welcome to the talk show of Wamuzi TV. You can introduce yourself as they know uh, as we continue to know more about the foundation. Yeah, thank you so much. My name is John Maramu, a uh, university student in the University, pursuing a degree in Bachelor of Science in Global Health and Travel Medicine, and also the founder of Moja Ninguvu Charity Foundation. Thank you so much for Music TV. I'm very glad to be here. Okay, so uh, where do you come from specifically, in your home ground? Where do you come from? Uh, thank you. I've been raised and uh, brought up in Eldoret, was in Kishu County, in a sub area called Puruma. Uh, I've been raised there, been, uh, I did my school there up to when I joined high school, that is in 2020, that's when I joined Masinibu University. Then I, I relocated from Eldoret to Kagameka. Okay, so uh, about this foundation, as we deep, deep in, into it, uh, help us understand what does this uh, foundation mainly entail or uh, what does it talk that what does it have okay. thank you umoja ninguvu charity foundation uh, it is a charity foundation aimed on giving back to the society you find that giving is a condition of your heart and also giving god loves a cheerful giver you find that also there is no way you can touch god's heart by not giving yeah. so uh, umoja ninguvu charity foundation is a foundation aimed at giving back to the society Okay, so uh, tell us uh, what do you do uh, in that foundation? Okay, thank yeah. you. Moja Ninguvu Charity Foundation, it aims at giving back to the society as we stated earlier. You find that uh, number one, it aims on feeding the street families every year, uh, also donating shoes to those students who always go to school their footed, and also visiting the rehabilitation centers. Uh, for, uh, center, centers for those kids who are able to differently and also there's another pro project that was coming with it soon about blood donation okay uh, tell us uh, you, have told, you have told us uh, what what you do mainly so tell us how do you manage it uh, since you are a student you are a comrade and you know how comrades uh, have many challenges as they go through their education so tell us how do you manage it uh, I've been managing it in a way that uh, I have said, uh, I, I say, God is the one who gave me this vision. Yeah. And in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28, it says that youths will see visions, and afterwards, God will pour out his spirit, and youths will see visions, and old men will have dreams. So I started a char that charity foundation in a way that I can say it's a vision given to God. At that time, when I was starting with Umoja Ningubu Charity Foundation, I was being appointed the youth leader in our church. So I really wanted to be a role model to my fellow youth. And also apart from that, at that point, at that period, our youth, our pastor and our youth patron, they were talking more about our visions. So I really prayed, I really prayed to God to give me a vision. And he gave me a vision of giving back to the society. So I will say it is a God-given uh, gift. Or when God gives you something, He will also give you. He will also provide. Like yeah. when God gives you a vision, He will also provide for that. Uh, for God. When God gives you a vision, He also gives you a provision. So I've been managing it in a way that God has been my provider all the way, and I have a testimony of God being my provider. Okay. So that's how you manage the foundation. So how do you get these funds? Uh, I will say that uh, as I stipulated earlier, that God is my God, like God is my donor, yeah. God has been my well-wisher all through, uh, and also have a very supportive mom and a close, uh, rely, uh, close family who are very supportive friends. So you find that uh, through whatever we do, it, it might seem as, uh, it might seem very small, but uh, it brings a great impact. 
in a way that uh, you find that Mother Teresa said that if you cannot do great things, then you do small things in a great way. So I've been having a supportive, uh, supportive fan, uh, supportive people uh, back, back, and who have been back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, I think you have a great, a great, uh, great uh, team to work with. Uh, there are more people looking towards helping the youth to grow their projects. So, uh, who, are, how are, who are these people who are working with this foundation or who, who are you dealing with specifically in, in that project? Uh, I say like uh, the target group, it's the community. Yeah. Yeah. Umoja Ningovo Charity Foundation aims at uh, targeting the community, the less vulnerable, those who are very susceptible, uh, to poverty, I'd say. So, Umoja Ningugu Charity Foundation aims at uh, giving back to the community. And also, apart from that, you saw, you see that uh, there's a quote which always says that if you want to go far, you work with people, but if you want to go faster, you work alone. So, for my vision, is something that I really, I really wanted to grow and go far. So, I've uh, been working with a team and also teamwork. Like, Teamwork, teamwork is very crucial at things uh, relating to things like this of charity or, or initiatives. So I have a WhatsApp group for spiritual nourishment. So courtesy of that uh, charity, courtesy of that WhatsApp group which we always share God's word every day, we bring more ideas. So when I have any activity, I incorporate it with my members, then we plan, uh, we plan something, uh, we plan on a project which I want to do. Okay, so you know uh, the viewers are wondering uh, that, that now there are those who are now hearing about the charity foundation. So tell them where are you located, or uh, is it is it in Dorit Town, is it Kakamega Town, or uh, where does it mainly can be found? Okay, yeah. the location of Umoja Ningufu Charity Foundation, I will say is in between. It is intertwined in between uh, Eldoret and Kakamega because I'm a resident in Eldoret, a place called Kuruma, and also I'm a student in Masindemunero University in Kakamega. So my location is in between Eldoret and Kakamega. Okay, uh, so I think my viewers have heard about it, uh, where you can find it in between the Eldoret and uh, uh, mainly Eldoret. If you seek uh, for his contact, you can mainly get him there. So, uh, as we continue, so uh, tell us what is your long-term goal uh, in the charity foundation. My long-term goal, I would say that uh, uh, one day, God willing, when I want, God willing, when I grow up, <laughs> I've already grown up. So my long-term project, I'll say in future, what I what I see or my vision is one day, I always see myself uh, building up a church building up a church, building up a children's home, building up a school. In a way that when I go to the community, the community, when I will be feeding those these street families and also be creating awareness because you have noticed that mostly street these street families or these street kids, they uh, they use drugs. So you find that these kids when I open up a school, there's a quote which always says that if you want if your plan is for one year, you plant rice. Yeah. If your if your plan is for ten years, you plant trees. But if your plan is for a hundred years, you educate children. So when I open up that school, when I go to the community, I when I when I go to the community, I take I when I'll be feeding those street families because then when you're feeding them, you create that rapport with them. First you have to be friendly with them. You have to be to befriend them. So when you create that uh, friendship with them, you create that a uh, good rapport with them, I'll be taking them to my school. Then uh, creating uh, building up a children's home to be helping you so that when I go to the community. I take those kids, I educate them, I feed them, and also I take them to that children's so, home so that when they go back, when they, when they go to school, they don't go back to the, to the street, but they go to the children's home or the rehabilitation center that I have uh, set up at that time. And also church, in future God willing, I want to become a pastor, if God will allow me, I really want to become a pastor because I want to serve God in all dimensions, because I will say he knew me before even I was born, and he knows my future, so I really want to uh, build a church and also come up in a way that through that church we can help those uh, the needy to the, uh, the society. We can help those the needy in the society, and also we can make this world a better place for us to live. Okay, uh, actually putting God first uh, in everything that you do, uh, it, it helps a lot because God also provides for those who are in need. 
you need something, God will provide for you. So uh, mainly, before we move on uh, a bit, so you can tell us which social media can these viewers get you, or uh, how they can contact you uh, through the phone. Yeah, tell you can tell them. Okay, yeah. on Facebook, I'm at John Maram. Uh, on YouTube, John Maram. Instagram, Maram John. TikTok, John Maram. And also, maybe I can share my phone number. Yeah. Uh, my phone number is 0703 500 576. 0703 500 576. So in case you have any support, you can. Like you don't have to have much source to support. You can be a farmer. You can donate shoes. You can donate uh, crops. You can be. Uh, maybe you have a lot of shoes back at home. You can donate some to those people who always go to school barefooted. You can. There's a lot. There's a lot of things you can do. You can also donate blood. That is also giving life, and also that is also uh, supporting those who I need. Yeah, I see you have great, uh, great ideas. So I assure you that as as Wamuzi Media will uh, support you in everything that you, in every step that you take. Okay. So don't worry, we 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 got your back. Yeah, thank so you. uh, what else can you tell these viewers, or uh, how can you advise those youth there outside who have this project that they want to lay into the community and they don't have these uh, equipments or uh, they see that they cannot make it. So how do you advise them? Yeah, sure. I'll just tell them that trust the process and trust in God because you don't have much so as to give. You have everything. What, whatever you need is already in you. So you are, the, you are the one to implement it. Whatever you need, whatever you want to become, it is already in you. So you are the one to implement it and keep it and put it into action. So I really like, I really like to tell them that uh, you don't have to stray. You just, when you put God first, when you trust in God, because God is our provider. God, before he formed you in your mother's womb, he had better plans for you, as we have been told in the book of Jeremiah. So when you have God, God will always direct you in everything that you do. God will always give you ideas, better ideas. You know, like in the Bible, we have been told that uh, God, well, God cannot, you cannot ask for bread, and then God gives you uh, stones. You cannot ask for fish, then God gives you steak. You will you'll ask, whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Because I always believe that God can make a journey of a humble beginning becomes a mission of possibilities. So whatever you trust, uh, believe, uh, like, God, you believe in yourself. You trust in God. When you put God as your your first pri priority, God will amaze you. God will do you wonders. God will do wonders in your life. Yeah. Also in the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 23, it says that uh, whatever you do, do it for God and not for human beings. Because once you do it for God, you'll just you'll just be selfless. You'll just be telling God, God, I'm doing this for you. And God will ever bless you. Because at times human beings tend to uh, upset us. You'll do something, people might tend to be uh, ungrateful. But in the book of Proverbs chapter 19 verse 17, it says that whatever you do, do uh, in the book of Proverbs chapter 17 verse 19, it says that uh, whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord. And the Lord will repay that person for his gifts. So whatever you are doing, just do it for God. And one day, God will be paid. So don't give up because quitters never win. And winners never quit. Keep on trusting the process. Keep on putting God first in everything that you do. And God will do wonders. God will amaze you. God is, our, God, God, God is a faithful God. We serve as a, a faithful God. And like God, I have a testimony on how God has been, has been faithful in my life. And if he did it for me, he will all, also do it for you. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, my viewers. Uh, I think we shall end uh, end from there. So please subscribe and uh, don't forget to don't, don't forget to click the notification bell to get more videos, more more videos about the talk show in Wamuzi TV. So thank you for viewing. Uh, like, comment, and uh, share this video to more people so that they can get they can get to know more about the foundation and uh, support this uh, young project that is trying to grow in the community. Thank you, uh, Mr. John Marambu, for coming to the show.